Welcome back to a brand new Tap Wars video. Hope you legends are all doing well. Now, I wanted to give you some top tips in this game. I did a video the other day about the cheeky um, redeem code, and a lot of you were saying about all of these little cheeky Thanksgiving pop-ups that come up. So basically, just quickly at the start of this video, make sure you check all the screens because there's little diamond packages that come up on these screens and they come around the top left. I don't need to do a video showing you where they are. They're literally just like one in there, one in each of the shops, one in the recruits, one in the loot and mag. It's very simple. But yeah, so let's get into today's tips and tricks. So number one is a one which might be pretty obvious, but I just want to give you my approach to it. So every single week on, I believe, Tuesday at midnight for me, so basically Wednesday, these quests reset. So by the time you wake up on Wednesday, these quests should be reset here. Now, it's important to know what quests are in here. Now, this tip isn't actually about the quest. It's about making sure that you clear these every week and having the right supplies. So what I tend to do is you can come down here and see that Using free orb recruits is 100. That's a huge amount. Doing 10 dojo spins is 100. That's another huge amount. And then we've got another one for doing summons. So what I always tend to do in this is I will do my 20 summons, clear that. I'll do my free summons, clear that. And then I will always make sure I've got plus three and plus 20. So on the reset every single week on Wednesday, I can immediately get on my weekly missions. Because I mean, there is a chance that you can miss them. So I mean, here, look, I've got 2000 there, so I can do 10 summons already. Now, yes, I haven't got enough to do 20 summons, but I know throughout this week, I will easily get enough summons. So I always like to give myself a little bit of an advantage on that, just to make sure that you can come in and clear that easily. So the five items in the shop, very easy. What I tend to do is just come in and just get the free one. And then I'll buy something which is pretty nice in here. I try to buy stuff which help well with other weekly missions. So for example, if I was to grab this here, the dragon summon, then, um, uh, sorry, the faction summon, then that's going to help me my weekly mission as well. So I'm not going to go through this all one by one, the weekly quest. I just wanted to say, bear in mind that the weekly request reset is on Wednesdays and you want to make sure you've got enough supplies to easily fly, fly through these every single week. Brilliant. Now, tip number two. And this is something I wish I knew before. This could be something very simple that most people knew, but I overlooked this. So on the fighters, there are certain fighters that get maxed earlier on. Now, if I click this card, he's actually my favorite character, Kenji here. But you can see his level here is 160 by 160. That means he cannot further level up. So these types of characters, I call them, I just say like um, not main, not main characters. They're just kind of the side characters that you can drop in and get a little bit of leveling up, but it doesn't actually help a huge amount. So if we look at Kenji here, he is one of the not main characters that max out to 160. And now what I mean by that is, so let's go to a main character like my favorite character, the ninja, 140. But this character can be leveled up further in here. So we're getting 160 is max for him. These ones can go to 240. So to work it out, to make sure you're not wasting supplies, now that isn't a waste of supplies, mind, because you can obviously reset characters quite easily, but obviously it's, it's a better spend of diamonds not doing that. So if I come out here to work out who I should be working on, you can go into promote. You go into here. Now, I know for a fact that I cannot further promote him because he's locked off. So he's max 160. And the way to work that out before going in, so if you go into details, is the skills. So if a character's got three skills, that means that they're locked. That means you cannot pass them past 160. Now I go to my favorite ninja. You can see here that 180, they get a new skill. And that's only level three or four. So if they've got a fourth skill, that means you can get them beyond 160 and get them red. So it's just a quick tip and trick for you there. But it just means don't focus a huge amount on characters that get stuck here. Now, I know, yes, in the long run, you do need to use these characters to level up other characters. But as a new player, you want to try and be focusing on five characters that you get. So that's kind of tip number two is don't waste a huge amount of resources on characters with free skills. Try and ooh, try and keep your focus on those characters that have four. Because I know that I did that. And it's very upset. So I ended up doing that with um, Kenshi. And I was like, well, I can't level him up further. 
It's obviously why. So number three, again, I shouldn't say that obviously at the, age, at the end of each one just in case you don't know, but this is something again that I didn't actually realize until my friend pointed out to me. That you click this little red button here and they've actually done a tier list in game themselves. So, you know, I don't have to do a, a tier list, but they've done a new one. So this game is bad for releasing every new character and whacking them in the tier list. Now, I get why they do that is to push people to spend a lot of money to get them. No, I've got no objections. Every game does it. Crack on is a free to play game and it's very well made, but it does annoy me a little bit. So you can click the tier list here and as a new player, what you should do is go, okay, so ignore my gold character. Say I was a new player, right? And I've got a few purple characters along here. So you can see, oh, Rampage. Oh, he's a, I can only get him to 160, so I'm not going to focus on him. Ah, Saban. I can get him up to 180. Where does he sit on the tier list? Should I work on him? Those are the questions you should be asking yourself. So I go into here, I go into the tier list, and I I like to look at the 241 because that's end game. So you know that you're working on the correct character. So I can look through here and go, is Saban in here? Is Saban in here? Where is he? Where's, where's our boy Saban? He's not in there. So you can see that in this tier list, he doesn't even actually make, unless I'm being blind, I cannot actually see him. So he's not even made it into this. T uh, he hasn't even, yeah. I, I might be being blind, but I cannot actually even see him. Okay, that's probably not a good sign. Oh, there he is. So he's A, sorry. He's A. <laughs> so he's A. So that means he's not awful, but I... I wouldn't work on him because the problem is when I go into this tier, he's not even in it. Like he's dropped so far behind that he's now in B. So that means if I get him to 240, I've already lowered my chance of winning by these two tiers. So I explained that. That went on for win. <laughs> Probably over explained that. But yeah, just check the tier list and try and work on characters who are in the 241 along the top here. Nice and easy. So it's easy. And of course, it. I, I guess that's another tip. So if I go into tip four, it helps to make sure that whilst you're referring to this tier list, because it's annoying, you can't actually click on them to see more detail, is that you make sure you've got a wide range. You've got a tank, a healer, and attack. I know that's obvious, but you don't want to just end up going tier list, um, tank, 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 because your missile or a lot of damage. I'd probably still do very well if you had five of the S tier tanks. But yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. And I haven't actually looked at the Mantis character yet. He came out um, very recently. So yeah, you want to look at the classes. So he's a brawler. Finisher, so that means he does huge amounts of damage. Mage, he does normally AoE damage to multiple enemies. Brawler. So then we've also got tank. So you've got tank, brawler, finisher, and mage. So my team's actually quite versatile which is lucky because what you, what you can't do on this game is feel bad about summons because the summon rate on this game it, you get given a lot but i always find it to be quite unlucky i say that i did manage to get three purples in one summon once and i was like I was shocked but yeah just kind of just some beginner tips and tricks i wanted to throw your way as far as the gameplay goes it is a auto type game don't if I want to give you some quick tips and throw some stuff in your face here, don't sleep on verse mode. You can just very mindlessly click fight and just skip. If you lose, don't let it get to your head. I wouldn't worry about it. But it's worth doing this every day. You get free, free fights every day. Just tap through it without even thinking about it. If you lose, you lose. If you don't, you don't. Because at the end of the day, you can only use the characters that you've been given because it, it is a type of idle game, really. So, you know, you can't let it get to your head if, if you lose or not it's the same with these I, i'd say just keep attempting these every time you've done a big upgrade jump back in but don't be too annoyed about it and do make sure you run your sewers every day of course but i just want to kind of give you some beginners tips actually playing the game is pretty obvious so you know i shouldn't need to <laughs> give you those tips but i want to bring those to you it also does help to join a club you know i i could go on forever here but you know I'm not, I'm not going to. I just wanted to give you some of those main ones. So I got some good rewards there. 
I am probably going to join another club, one of my friends' ones. So, yeah, you know, there's there's lots of clubs in the game. There's lots of things to keep your eye out on. And I like that you can sort of flick between and see what's going on. And um, you can search. So I want to join... I think it's called... Um, let's have a look. I want to see if they've got a space. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. So, yeah, there's lots of cool guilds to join and things to do. But I just want to give you those beginner tips. And obviously, make sure you do your dailies. But that should be another one I don't actually really need to tell you. But the weeklies is the difficult one. Because some of them are actually quite difficult to complete. So, do make sure you've got some supplies saved. Make sure you use the tier list. Make sure you're working on characters who can go past 160. And you'll be fine. Comment down below and let me know what you think. If there's any tips that you want to give beginners. And I'll see you legends all in the next one.